Hello, my name is Jim Flood. Welcome to the Open Boat Project. So, you can see at this stage, if you look carefully, there's a slight inward curve on the keel there. And we're going to correct that by putting a skeg strip along the bottom, which will do two things. One, it'll straighten it, and the other, it'll give it a bit of protection when it comes in on a rough surface. So here we've got the skeg in position. It actually does another thing as well, which it helps to keep the boat running straight while you're rowing or paddling. And this is fixed on by having a strip inside and using these coach bolts here to go right through to tie it down nice and stiffly. And that's a good reason for having that chalk line on both sides, the centre line, so that you can align these two bits of wood up and then screw them together so the boat becomes nice and stiff and straight. At some point you're going to want some cross pieces in to add a little bit of stiffness or to put a wing rigger in for rowing uh, or um, an outrigger for sailing or for canoeing. Okay, this is the outrigger uh, for rowing and uh, this just fits in to the these two bits, so the quick uh, quick fit system. Now you can get hold of these either buy them or it might be that you can get uh, ones that are a bit of worn from your local rowing club, but they're actually quite an expensive bit of kit. So as an alternative, uh, these are homemade affairs here, just using a hinge, and uh, this is the uh, the latch, uh, which just goes down and stops the the oar or the blade just jumping out, keeps it nice and firm and safe. There are two other bits that you're going to need if you want to row this as uh, a reasonably quick uh, rowing skiff. And that's a seat assembly which is just going to go in there and it sits now nice and tightly and it has a sliding seat on, although you can actually row to a fixed seat. You could just put a little pad on the bare plywood there um, this just helps you get a longer stroke, makes the boat go a bit faster. And then you're going to need somewhere to put your feet. And preferably just to have your feet held in position with these straps. And because people have different uh, heights and different leg lengths, this needs to be adjustable. So that just goes into position there. You can see the holes where we put the bolts and the wing nuts through so that can adjust towards you or away from you to cope with different uh, leg lengths. And uh, a couple of heel cups made from the float from a, uh, a cistern ball uh, but anything with a plastic with a cup shape like that will do fine and again it's adjustable so you can move the heights of the cups up and down to cater with different sizes of feet and different flexibility around the hip joint. The boat in its present form is quite twitchy, so to be rowing it, it's going to be moving from side to side. So we can actually make it safer for beginners or people with disability by putting side floats on. This is uh, some layers of plaster soap welded together. We'll show you how to do that. Um, bolted to a piece of wood, screws tightened up so it recesses, and then we just fit them onto the ends of the rigger. We can change the height for different levels of stability. And these are just going to be just held on with wood screws.
So the idea is you work, you turn the boat upside down and just gradually work your way along.